What's going on, guys? My name is Taylor Rayo, and I'm the co-founder of Two Buttons Deep. Like Nicole said, we are a digital entertainment company, and we create stuff, stuff worth talking about from upstate New York and beyond. But before I get into that stuff, two very important things. One, huge shout out to Tom Nardacci and the team at The Garage and The Bull Moose Club. The fact that a company like mine is standing up here in front of all you series is unbelievable, and it wouldn't be possible without them at all. And the second thing is that you're probably wondering what Two Buttons Deep means. You can do two things to find out. One, have a sip of your beer if you have one in your hand. And number two, look down. If you're only one button deep, it's time to go one more. But let me explain first, all right? So my co-founder and I, Jack, who can't be here in tonight, he's in L.A. We started this company three years ago after declining job offers in L.A. and New York City to do corporate jobs. We had a bunch of Hawaiian shirts left over from college parties in our closets everywhere. So we took the Hawaiian shirts, not literally, but the idea of them, and we started blogging. Three years later, somehow, I think we blinked, and now we are one of the fastest growing digital entertainment companies in upstate New York. I can't believe that. And here's why. Listen, we studied broadcasting and journalism. We are very familiar with the five whys in traditional media, the who, what, where, when, and why. I'll let you in on one little secret, though, and that is that 25 to 34-year-olds, our target market, are not really consuming traditional media. Maybe it's because you read headlines like this about what a mild PG time Oktoberfest in Albany is. Interesting. When Two Buttons Deep go to an event like Oktoberfest, we do a human wiener dog race because we were too busy drinking to watch the actual wiener dog race. You guys, are you kind of getting it now, this Two Buttons Deep thing? Another great example, one of my favorites, is something I call the B-roll of people's feet. If you were to watch the 5 o'clock news at a very busy time of year, like the track, opening day, probably one of the coolest things that goes on in the capital region, you are likely to see B-roll of people's feet or people waiting in line. That's very exciting, but that doesn't really capture what eight weeks of uninterrupted summer fun in Saratoga is like. When Two Buttons Deep has a chance to spend eight weeks at the track of uninterrupted fun, we capture the entire experience. This summer, we landed ourselves a front row seat at one of the craziest times of year, the Saratoga Racetrack. We called it the Squadcast. We interviewed all kinds of local people, and we obviously went as many buttons deep as possible in front of 40,000 people every weekend. And of course, a lot of you want to know, how does this translate into a business? It's not just a hobby. We're not just bloggers and influencers. If you use any traditional outlets to advertise your product or service, this is something that you're probably going to see. A static banner ad that describes where they want you to click, what they want you to buy, what they want you to sign up for. Two Buttons Deep can do that too. Our website has the capability. However, if you want Two Buttons Deep to get people to use your product or service, if you want people to ride your CDPHP cycle bikes, I'll ride them even in heels. The thing that really makes us special, though, is our followers. We are one of the only outlets in the Capital Region that can reach the 25 to 34 demographic. We find that our followers really love what Two Buttons Deep is all about, and we make them proud to live in the Capital Region. That's why we started here. My partner Jack and I are from here, and it's very important for us to portray all the fun, awesome things that are going on in the 518. We also know that 25 to 34 year olds like to spend money. Like Gabby said, they travel, they have a good time, and we want to highlight all of that for them right here in the 518. Our content is all personality-based. So right now we have a squad. There's about five or six of us in the squad, and we each cover all things that we're interested in. So I talk a lot about fashion. We have someone who's into cooking, sports, et cetera. It's all personality-driven. You could watch one of us if you love us. If one of you hates us, that's fine too. Or you can watch the whole squad do things. In all of the content that we produce, right on here we have podcast, squadcast, a best dress list. We blog. We do personal videos with certain brands. All of this can be underwritten, include product placement, have ad reads in them, but it's all stuff that we want to feel natural when you're watching it. So we're going to be drinking beer anyways. We might as well drink yours. Shout out to Browns, who actually produced a Two Buttons Deep IPA this summer. We had our own beer, people. This is crazy. What happened? What ha oh, there you go. Perfect, and we're growing. That's one thing that's very important as a business. We have grown a crazy amount in the last year alone. We have grown over 92% in terms of our followers on Facebook and over 101% in our likes. If we keep growing like this, 
the traditional officer, they might have a problem, but they work with us too. We've also potential to go viral with a couple of videos that we've done. This is something that when we have more manpower and we can really do our thing, we can create videos like this that extend far and wide beyond the capital region. These two ordinary people do press conferences, got over 13 million views combined, got picked up by another viral website, and they were really funny. Here's just a simple list of people that we've been able to work with over the past three years as a company. As you can see, there's a very broad variety on here. So I always like to say to people in business meetings that we are just as good of a fit to advertise your beer as we are to advertise a bank or something a little bit more buttoned up, if you will. All of these brands, even some of them in here are our competitors. So iHeartMedia, Hearst Newspapers, they know that they're not able to reach 25 to 34 the way Two Button Steep does. So instead of acting as competitors, they invite us in. We had our own radio show on KISS 102.3 this summer. Our content has been picked up by Inside Edition. I was on Fox and Friends in the beginning of the year. We've performed stand-up. We host red carpet events. I really wanted a red carpet for my outfits, you know? We've been making it all happen, and it's people like this that believe in us and understand that we're a growing brand, we're a fun brand, and we can offer your target market, whoever you want to advertise to, a unique outlet that is very authentic, fun, and makes people proud to live in the Capital Region. Of course, we have a lot of fun things coming up. Some of you might know we are moving to downtown Albany, which is very exciting. It will be a year-long Live in Albany project where we are basically covering here, there, and everywhere everything that's happening in Albany to promote, again, a downtown lifestyle, being young and having fun here. Um, at the end of the day, though, the most important thing to us is our content. If we can continue to increase the output of content as well as increase the quality and up the content, up the quality every single day, we're going to grow. We're going to give you guys more stuff to talk about, more stuff to watch. Um, in addition to that, we obviously want to grow our advertisers. We are based off of that for the most part, but there are other revenue sources that we have identified, such as opening up an online shop, similar to what a Barstool Sports would do with their merchandise, as well as host more events. We've hosted a few now. Uh, we roll out a red carpet every now and again. So these are other ways that we continue to grow as a company monetarily. And uh, the last thing is that we want to be involved in the community. So yes, we can advertise. Yes, we can show up at your events. But with the brand power that we have, we have over 30,000 followers right here in the Capital Region. If something good's going on, tell us about it. We want people to be proud here. We want to highlight the people that are behind the scenes just as much as us being in front of the camera. And again, none of this, any of it, would be possible if we didn't have fans and followers. So the biggest thing that I would want to walk away with tonight is more followers. If you guys like our content, if you don't, give me feedback. We want to be able to produce the best stuff for you. So followers would be at the very, very tip top of my list. We have over 10,000 on Instagram. That swipe up is real nice, but we can keep growing. And of course, if you know any video editors, they're very hard to come by. And advertisers, that would be great too. Are you two buttons deep yet? I mean, it's probably time to go all buttons deep. This is actually best left off the internet, but I had to show you. Thank you. Oh no, does anybody have any questions for me? I should get that off, it's actually offensive, it's a little scary. You can never go that many buttons deep. Any questions? Really? Oh, yeah. Um, so the red carpet thing, she's asking if there's any events in Albany that we would want to host once we live there and we were there kind of full time. The red carpet thing is something really exciting. We kind of launched it last year with Metabolic. They did their first gala. And I was thinking to kind of do like a Times Union scene gallery, like 3.0, where instead of checking online to see like a picture of you with red eyes and like someone you don't really like standing next to you, why don't I ask people about their experience and make them feel really good about these dresses they're renting and wearing? So I think the red carpet is a great opportunity for gala season coming up in Albany and elsewhere. Um, it's a good way to make your guests feel engaged. People feel super fancy stepping onto a red carpet. And uh, I think that would be one sort of like branch of events that we would love to continue to host in the future. Yes. I can't say that. Look at all the people in the room. I don't want anybody to know where I live. No, Redburn, if you guys are familiar with Redburn Development, they are fantastic, and we've worked with them on a couple projects in the past. So they are taking a giant gamble and letting a few of us live rent-free, yes, I'll say it, because you'll find out anyways, for a year to document the entire experience of living in Albany. They don't want us to sell the apartment. They don't want us to talk about this stuffy development company, their words, not mine. They want us to sell the experience. So we'll be right downtown in the heart near the Palace Theater, a lot of restaurants that are popping up, and we really hope to capture that authentic downtown experience that 
a lot of us who grew up here might still be stuck in Latham or Clifton Park or Cohoes or what have you.